Parents today face more challenges than ever. You know, protecting their kids from social media, uh, bullying, uh, lion attacks. Uh, and yes, that doesn't happen in America yet, but they'll find a way over here, trust me. <laughs> so to help parents out, Desi Lydic returns with her recurring segment, The Parent Rap. Trevor, I'm not just a parent, I'm also a mom. Thank you, it's God's work. <laughs> but tonight, I want to talk about the problem with helicopter parenting, because today's parents are way too overprotective. Like yesterday at the playground, this mom wouldn't let her kid play with mine because he was too rough. You know, actually, I agree with you completely, Desi. Sometimes kids get hurt on the playground, and that's part of life. Yeah, exactly. But when my kid stabs another kid with a screwdriver, suddenly <laughs> I'm banned from chaperoning field trips. I'm sorry, did you say stabbed? Yeah. Desi Jr. plays hopscotch to win. <laughs> Look, the point is, parents have gotten way too fearful, and now it's starting to ruin people's lives. I mean, just listen to this story I heard last week that broke my heart. A group of concerned mothers reported a man in a park in Claremont asking children if they wanted a magic wand. Steve Coy says it was all a big misunderstanding there. He says he has been handing out these handcrafted wands for years. They're colorful, shiny, and meticulously crafted. Each wand takes about a half an hour to make. The mothers of several young children he approached posted the encounter on the Nextdoor app. They say his actions are inappropriate and concerning. This makes me so mad. A gentle artist wants to give children free toys, and these moms call the cops on him? I hope their husbands cheat on them with their hottest nanny. I do. Wow. <laughs> wow, okay. Well, like, but, but, but I don't know, Desi, like, maybe we should be a little suspicious of a random man trying to give toys to kids. Okay, Trevor, what if we had that attitude back when Disney started? Oh, a grown man asking children to come into his big playground filled with dark tunnels and a giant duck who's not wearing any pants. I won't lie, when you say it like that, it actually makes Walt Disney sound pretty sketchy. <laughs> like... Well, yeah, but if you get to know him, the, the only thing that you'll find in his heart is children's dreams and some Nazi paraphernalia. <laughs> and you won't find anything on this kindly wizard man either. I mean, you tell me, does this sound creepy? While they may not be able to conjure spells, Steve Coy says they do have a certain power. I'm not rich, but the amount of pleasure I can give a human being by giving him a magic wand is precious. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say, yeah, that sounds creepy. He wants to pleasure kids with his magic wand? to offer children than that. In addition to the wands, for 25 years, he's been handing out these. My fun pass is what usually gets me in big trouble. The fun pass. The side effects include dancing, happiness, laughter, and euphoria. I mean, how can anybody go wrong with that? See, Trevor, this sweet soul just wants to give our children fun passes. And these moms want to lock him away? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to get emotional. It's just... I just hope all their husbands drive off a cliff with their hottest nannies. Oh, what's, what's up with these nannies? A anyway, like, fine, Desi, okay, you know what? Maybe I'm being a little too suspicious, and, like, he's just an innocent guy who wants to make the world a better, fun place. Yes, he is. Just one kid at a time. This one girl, she was, like, 10, I gave her a fun pass, and she was so nice. And I said, oh, my gosh, you know what? I have a magic wand for you in my car. Let me go get it. You stay here. And then, but I can't give it to you unless your mom says it's okay. Okay, I'm gonna say that's hella creepy. What? Desi, he literally said, I have a magic wand for you in my car. Yeah, but only if the mom says it's okay. That's being a gentleman. Look, all I'm saying is if we let ourselves be ruled by fear, we'll deprive our children of any spontaneous joy. It's just common sense parenting. Okay, fine, Desi, so let me ask you this. Are you willing to take your kid to that park and let him play with Mr. Wan? Of course, Trevor. As soon as I get custody back, first stop. Desi Lydic, everyone.